sudden loss of smell or taste is emerging as a symptom of COVID-19. A friend of mine has had mild COVID-19 symptoms and mentioned to me that he couldn't smell anything. Then the article came out. He tried smelling a bottle of vinegar and a jar of Vicks Vaporub. Nada. He's been quarantining for 10 days now and is fortunately doing well. I've been urging him to try cilantro because he has the mutation that makes it taste like soap. How the fuck does it get a new shitty symptom every week? Does this not happen with normal colds? Patients could recover their sense of smell fully, permanently lose it or land anywhere in between. Yikes. I should worry. People have told me for a long time that I have no taste, and I don't smell too good either. I'm on day 10 recovering from COVID. My sense of smell disappeared on the first day with the fever and body aches. Now I'm almost fully recovered, but my sense of smell isn't fully back yet. I'd say my sense of smell is 50% back. I can taste no problem though. What a fun illness this has been. Rudy Gobert, the NBA player for the Utah Jazz who tested positive on March 11th, stated that he's had these symptoms for a few days but nothing else related to a common cold. Edit, spelling. I'm about two months out from my initial COVID-19 symptoms and can confirm that my sense of smell and taste are still a little jacked up. It took about three weeks for anything to come back, and slowly they have been improving. I'd say it's 85% back. On one hand, that fucking sucks I love food. On the other, bottom shelf booze is now on the menu. I had this as well around late January, couldn't walk at all without getting winded, had two doctor's appointments where I almost passed out walking to them, couldn't breathe and they rushed me to the hospital, my body hurt, low grade fever, couldn't smell anything, still can't, the hospital shoved two swabs down my noise. Tested negative for flu. I had several breathing treatments where they heard fluid in my lungs. They told me I have anxiety and nothing was wrong with me. I slept on my couch for over a month until a few days ago. Now I'm able to sit up and walk around without shaking. Anxiety is weird, eh? Well this happens when my allergies are really bad and it's peak allergy season so. I'm just going to stay inside like it's covered and tell my brain it's allergies. I had a really bad flu in January that led to a bad case of pneumonia and ended up in the hospital for four days. It's the first time food tasted bad while being sick. Wondering if I actually had coronavirus. Not sure if they even tested for it at that point. They did a flu test which is administered the same way as the coronavirus test, swab up my nose, and it came back negative for the flu. Had all the COVID-19 symptoms. Cough, fever, shortness of breath, but. I like tasting and smelling. I mean breathing is good too but. I recently, one month ago, had a bout of Guillain-Barr syndrome, an autoimmune slash neurological condition where your immune system starts attacking your nervous system. I'm still recovering from it, but this new development has me honestly terrified. Yeah but will they actually test if you show up with just these symptoms? I'm not even sure if it's that or me smoking. It's not like I can't smell anything, and I can taste things just fine. But my sense of smell is fainter than it used to be. I'm trying to quit smoking anyway, so I guess in a few days I'll have the answer. I'm a frontline NHS worker and was exposed to three COVID-19 positive patients last week. They were long-term patients who have been in hospital for 40 plus days with conditions unrelated to the coronavirus and were not suspected of having the virus. Unfortunately a relative of one of the patients had been visiting and was found out to be positive. I spent three days with them before they took ill and were swabbed. Fast forward to the weekend and I started getting mild symptoms of the virus too. Yesterday I completely lost my senses of smell and taste. The most irritating thing about the whole experience so far though is that I can't get swabbed to confirm if I definitely have it. Can lead to permanent nerve damage leading to permanent loss of smell. Well, there goes my entire career if that happens. Would suck for me since my sense of smell is shit anyways, especially in spring. That's interesting. My mom told me about this and sent me an article about it and it's not that I didn't take it seriously I just wanted to see if more information would come out about it and wow it actually did, she called it, 
It's happening. HTTPS colon slash slash www. IMDB com slash title slash TT1439572 slash. I suddenly like Jeff Dunham. Do I have coronavirus? I like the typo of navel cavity instead of nasal cavity. One letter changed and now your whole sense of smell is determined by your belly button. Oh my god, that explains why I just bought a Hawaiian shirt, I have the neurodegenerative Parkinson's disease with a common symptom of loss of smell. Common orders that are tested blindly may include banana, garlic, chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, etc. They are scratch and sniff odors. I believe they are equalized and expire after a period of so no odor is overly strong. Delete the homemade version of this. This happened to three members of my family with mild cases. None of them experienced any congestion which is what made it stand out. Glad people are finally recognizing this. I have never felt this before but suddenly I've been periodically lightheaded and dizzy and a week before that I was feeling very nauseous. It matches the mild symptoms on this page for coronavirus. HTTPS colon slash slash www. News com slash health slash health news slash report offers insights why early coronavirus cases may have been N1131986. After reading that COVID-19 can cause brain damage, I am fucking scared right now. HTTP colon slash slash www. Zinhuanet, com slash English slash 2020-03 slash 05 slash C underscore 13884652. HTM, Danini said patients could recover their sense of smell fully, permanently lose it or land anywhere in between. No shit. OMG, started wearing bell bottoms with sandals. I think I got it. This scares me because before this became such a huge thing my wife got incredibly sick and she told me several times it's so weird because it's suddenly like I can't smell or taste anything. I thought maybe just an altered taste like when you get the flu. She kept insisting no, I just can't smell or taste anything. I knew she was legit when I would fart and she didn't complain anymore. Oh, I guess I should be thankful to my dog for his silent but deadly farts. Quite a diagnostic test indeed. As someone who's had two surgeries on my deviated septum, losing your sense of smell sucks. And there's not much that can help with you with something like that. I also have it and couldn't smell anything for five days straight, now it's about 50% back. It is a very funny and weird feeling. Took me two days to realize it, I was beginning to think my poops just don't smell anymore. Drink if you grab the nearest thing with a smell with anxiety in your heart. My girlfriend and I caught it, we believe. She teaches in Brooklyn and one of her co-workers passed it on to her is what she thinks. She quarantined in our room, I slept on the couch, still got whatever she has. She got really sick, chest congestion, headaches, fever, all of it. I'm asthmatic but all I got was, about a week ago, a bit of body aches that lasted about 6 hours and a very mild chest congestion that's ongoing but very far from how I usually get it. Currently still have the mild congestion, otherwise fine, but I woke up 2 days ago couldn't smell anything. Yesterday lost most of my taste. My girlfriend had the same thing, got it back today. I am extremely amused with this and it's really fun spraying my hand with cologne and not smelling anything, or burying my nose into a bowl of weed and I can't smell it, I hate the smell of weed too, so it's kind of fun. I do hope I get it back, I can't imagine life without tasting chalky milk again, sad f people, remember having only the symptom does not automatically mean you have COVID-19. There are too many Facebook doctors around diagnosing friends and family members.